guys welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here today I'm gonna talk about all my empties all my beauty trash that I've used up over the past I think it's been two months since I've done one I don't think I used up a ton last month but we have a lot <laughs> this month just depends you know what I'm using up for the month um, some of these are things that I've had for a while and I just like finally used up or I'm just like I'm done with them um so yeah let's go ahead and jump in I'll tell you whether I think they're worth your money if it's not if I've repurchased already what I've swapped out in place of it if something I like better da 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 da, -da. all the details so let's jump in all right let's start with this guy this was actually a recommendation from one of y'all um I love the Naturium line in general their lotion is my all-time favorite um like their what's it called the biolipid I've gone through so many of those as well. I'm sure you've seen them if you watch my empties, but uh, one of y'all recommended to try this one out and it's like an oil to foamy cleanser. It is amazing. It is not stripping, but it is cleansing. I love this stuff. I already have another one in my shower. Um, Target was having a buy one or 20% off sale on Notorium the other day, so I stocked up. Uh, but you can get this at Sephora or you can get it at Target or you can get it on their site. I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon sometimes too, but I feel like it sells out fast from Amazon. This stuff is amazing. If you're looking for a really hydrating, luxurious, like should be ex more expensive than it is body lotion, body wash, try this guy out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Let's stick with the body care. I have this guy. This is the Tula um, Take Care and Polish Exfoliator for your body. So I think this is my second one of these I have like hair all over my lip gloss my second one of these um and honestly I don't know if they've changed the packaging my biggest problem with this product is the packaging the lid will not close because the granules get stuck in the lid for me and I cannot close it so I have to store it like this instead of like this which it's annoying because then you have to like especially when you're at the end you have to like hold it up like this for a while and then trips out. I just I hope they change the packaging on this. I do like the product. Um, kind of smells a little like medicinal to me almost, but I don't, I don't hate it. I like the results that it gives me. It's a physical exfoliator, but it's also a chemical exfoliator. So you're getting double. This is not one of those exfoliators that dissolves, like the beads stay the beads. So it's pretty harsh, um, but it does have like a foamy wash to it. So I do like that. And that's where it's a little bit gentle. I think I do prefer my Tree Hut over this guy, just the price, um, the packaging. Even though I don't love the Tree Hut that you have to dig out of a container, at least it doesn't do this. <laughs> I'm hoping they have changed the packaging on this. Like I said, I this is quite a bit older, but I have gone through two. I've repurchased it. I do like it. I just don't love the packaging. So, yeah, it's okay. Um, the other thing is I will notice if I don't like fully rinse it off it will like I'll have like beads like in my armpit I, when I go to shave and it'll like get stuck in my razor maybe I don't like it that much I don't know I prefer the tree hut I would say that's where your money's better used um this guy oh this is the Numbuzzin sheet mask I got the this is the number one this is their glowy dewy glow a spa sheet mask super hydrating i love this it's almost got that like cellulose on the outside of the sheet this fit perfectly to my face i did notice a very plump glowy look to my skin afterwards i use these mostly at night but i love this and i love them buzzing i did a whole video on them um if you haven't checked it out i will throw it up in the cards but that video is sponsored this is not i actually just really like their skincare products off of amazon is where you can get them. Another sheet mask that I love. This is the COSRX um, Advanced Snail Mucin Power Sheet Masks. This was my first time buying these. Oh, I would rebuy the numbers in. I need to look and see if they carry them in larger packs because that's what I hope. But I do have some other ones to try. Which other ones do I have? I have a couple other to try. So I'm going to be going through those before I repurchase that one. But I do like those sheet masks. The consistency is nice. I love these. I honestly do. I love the results they give me. I wish the sheet mask had that cellulose -y, like jelly almost to it. I feel like it just stays like locked in a little bit more. So with these guys, I use like a silicone um, 
mask holder essentially I will put a picture I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it in a favorites video I'll put a picture here and I'll link it down below I like using that with these because I just feel like there's a lot of goo in them but I don't love the like fabric that they're on that's my only thought so I do use them with the silicone mask and I still love them I will repurchase them they're good if you use the essence you would love that and I think like once a week I replace it with that I only do a sheet mask about once a week um and I do really love those. I never remember to save my bubble bars um, from Lush, but I love to treat myself every once in a while to some Lush bubble bar products. So if it's been a minute since you've tried them out, I know, I feel like they had their like moment back in like, I don't know, 2010 to 2013. Like, um, and then they kind of fell off a bit, but I still love them. The Comfort Bubble Bar is my favorite and I split it up into like four baths because it's so big. Um, so yeah, check out Lush if you haven't in a while. I always will pick up another one, especially when I go to the mall. Um, I don't go often, but when I do, I always stop in Lush. Another fun bath product. I've gone through so many of these. I think I've had them in every single one of my empties for the past couple months. Just different scents. Um, this is the Epsom salt for soaking. This is the revitalizing eucalyptus and spearmint. This is Target's brand of the Dr. Teal's. I love this stuff. You need a lot of Epsom salt. I think it says two cups. Yeah, two cups um, in your bath. So I don't like to buy the ones that are super expensive. These are like three bucks. Um, I go through them fast, obviously, because you don't get a ton. Um, but it's it's good. I love a good Epsom salt soak when my muscles are sore. Or I'm just feeling kind of like, I don't know, run down, tired. I throw this in in a hot bath and I feel amazing. You can also use those to like exfoliate if you mix them in with a little bit of like body wash. You can use it for that as well. Hopefully you can't hear my neighbors doing construction on their garage. <laughs> oh well. Uh, another shower product, uh, the Bondi Boost. This is their HD shampoo. Um, I liked this. Mm, I liked this, but I don't think I'll repurchase it. Um, I find that these shampoos that are geared towards hair growth, um, they just kind of leave my hair oily pretty quickly because they have a lot of like peppermint oil and rosemary oil and oil, 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 oil. And it doesn't clean, like it feels great when I'm shampooing. I love the, the smell and the tingle on my scalp, but I find that my hair gets greasy the next day, which is like not a vibe. So I don't think I'll repurchase this again. Um, it's okay, but not my favorite. I've got a little Kiehl's. Um, this is their ultra facial repair or ultra facial cream. I love this stuff. It's just a good standard basic moisturizer. I have gone through so many of these. Um, I used to think they did nothing, but then like when I was struggling with skin issues, I just felt like it was the perfect, like if you've ever been at a, a state where your skin is just so irritated that it like burns to put anything on but anyways i love this stuff i would have repurchased this but i i'm using the summer friday dew point i think it's called cream so i will repurchase this again i like it it's good for winter and summer this guy i finished up this is the drunk elephant marula facial oil it's good i don't think it's worth the money Personally, I've gone through so many of these. It's nice. Don't get me wrong. It's very nice. I like it a lot, but it's really expensive and I don't think it's necessarily worth it for a facial oil because I feel like facial oils don't really soak into the skin because it's my last step. So it's basically just sealing everything in and it doesn't really get that deep into the skin. So I don't know. I don't think they're worth the money to be honest with you. Um, I like to just use more affordable ones, but you can get marula oil from Trader Joe's and I've heard it's good. I used up another setting spray. This is the Benefit Professional Setting Spray. I actually dumped this into a large one that I keep in my bathroom. So I just filled the large one up with one of these guys and went through it. Um, love that stuff. My favorite setting spray of life. I am trying out the new Sephora one. So I'll report back if I like that one. But I have so many of those on backup. I will never, never be without it. This is another Tula product that I've used up. This has been long awaited, like I've needed to get rid of this forever. I've had it for too long, but this is the Tula So Sugar Plum Scrub, basically. 
I don't know, it's okay. I did really love the way it smelled. I did love, I used to love physical exfoliators, but I've really stopped using physical exfoliators. So when I did use them, I loved them. Um, but they are kind of just rough on my skin and they really like irritate my barrier. So if they don't, this is a, if they don't for you, this is a good scrub. I honestly though, prefer for a physical scrub to use the Dr. Bronx microdermabrasion that used to be my all time holy grail. So I would not repurchase those. There's a lot of products I love from Tula and I sound like I hate them, but it's good. I just am steering clear from physical exfoliators. This guy right here, this is the Youth to the People Super Clay Purifying and Clear Power Mask with Niacinamide, Kombucha, and BHA. I was left wanting more, to be honest with you. Um, what I originally, see, what I originally bought this for was to kind of replace my Glam Glow Purifying Mud Mask, um, but it didn't do that. So I liked it outside of that because it's kind of like different it's not like a suck everything out of your face dry down sort of thing um you're only supposed to leave this on for about 10 minutes and then rinse it off so it doesn't really fully dry down i liked it but honestly for the price i like the innis free one so much better and i feel like they do similar things um i liked you to the people I think their prices can be a little high for what you get, but it's good. Um, it's just not my favorite. I don't know. I notice anything like wow after I use this mask, so I'm gonna stick with my Innisfree. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll link it down below as well. I prefer that one over that. It's like a third of the price, and I feel like it generates similar results. Okay. I've got two beauty sponges because I pretty much change these out like once a month, especially when I'm traveling. So one of these was from my travel. These are the Be Beekman, Beek whatever, they'll be linked down below from Amazon. I will say, depending on the color you get, they're different in consistency. The red is my least favorite. It's just not as squishy and like giving. Um, the purple is my favorite and then I also like the teal, but these are awesome. They're great. I love that I can replace them every month and feel no worry about it because they're super affordable if you're still buying beauty blenders girl you're like the only one um this guy i'm saying goodbye to i know i could remove it with nail polish remover but honestly this brush is from when i was like in college and i think it was just time to let her go i feel like i can't get the most inner of it clean so yeah, it's just time to go. And it was kind of shutting a little bit. But I did love this. This was the Sephora. I don't know. You can't tell because I've worn it to bits. Airbrush something. They don't make it anymore. But I did get nail polish on it when I was traveling. So I've switched out to Sigma brushes. They sent me over a big care package. And ugh, I forgot how much I miss Sigma brushes. Sigma brushes was like the first brush that I ever spent like my hard-earned money on over MAC because I feel like they replaced MAC for a, a minute there. They're still around in case you're wondering. Um, this guy, I used up the Naturium Photo Glow, Fido Glow Lip Balm in Clear. I have mixed feelings about this. I love it. I really do. I love the applicator. I love the glow this gives. It's a little thick, but what happened with mine is it broke. Like it just like right here slit from like trying to push out products um like from this way it so all the product now comes out of this so I didn't even fully finish it I did the best I could I like kept it on my desk so that it wasn't like leaking in a purse or my pocket or something like that I like it I just don't like the packaging so I don't think I would buy it again because I don't want that to happen to me um let me know if it's happened to you or if this is like a fluke and maybe I should just get another one I don't know I'm like annoyed by that oh here's the another one of the sheet masks uh snail mucin and then I did finish up an actual snail mucin this is the Cosrx advanced snail mucin essence so it's basically I don't think of this as an essence I think of it as like a serum um but I love this stuff I still use it every single night I already have another one I tried to get the one that had half niacinamide in it but unfortunately my niacinamide part never pumped out or this part never pumped. I don't know what it was, but it didn't pump out. So I just went back to this. It's good. It's great. If you haven't tried it, I love it. It's so freaking hydrating. Um, and it helps with dark spots. It helps with 
acne. It, it's just, it's all in all a great product and I'm sure you've tried it. If you haven't, you should. Um, I decided to, oh God, I didn't know what leaked all over this, but I decided to retire one of these. I'd had it for about two months or so. Um, so I decided to retire it. I do wash them, but that's just a triangle puff that I get from Amazon and I have a huge pack. So I like to rotate through them every once in a while um, just to make sure that it's clean. Finished up another one of these guys. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in the color 2.5 Fair. I feel like a lot of people have mixed reviews on this. I absolutely do love it and I do feel like I notice a difference when I use it. I've had about three or four of these. Um, I do remove the like stopper so I can get down even more. I don't love the packaging but I get why it's like that. Oh I could probably get one more out of it. Um, there's just product left at the bottom and product left up here and it's kind of gross the thought of like just smearing it all over your face. I guess it's clean, but I put it on as a base and then I put it on just the high points of my face and I do really like it. I know it's pricey, but I don't go through it very often because I'm not using it as a full foundation. So I have one on stock right now full and it'll last me probably the next like two to three months. No, three to four months, if not more. And then I am curious to try the e.l.f. Halo Glow and see what I think about that in compared to this. But I still have it, so I'm not going to steer away from it. I'm going to use it what I have, but I do think it's amazing. I really love the finish on my skin. Um, so, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, Benefit Gimme Brow, you already know. I repurchase this all the time. You don't see them in my empties very often because one of these will last me like six months. I don't do a ton with my eyebrows and I just feel like you don't need a lot. I just notice like towards the end when it's like dried out, like I could probably still keep going with this, but it's not as much color payoff as I'd like. Um, it gives some little fiber like volume to your brows. It gives a little bit of color. If you're like a super low maintenance eyebrow girly you might really like this i have been using it for years and i'm in the color two there's zero writing on this thing because i use it that much i have so many backups i will never be without even though i try new brow products i still always use that one no matter what new products i try and then last but not least i've got this guy this is the Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Bomb. You already know I have another one of these. I just picked it up in this for sale. Uh, I have the banana one and I have the watermelon one. One of my favorite lip balms ever. It's like a gloss, but it's not a gloss. It's like a lip, I don't know how to explain it. It's a lip balm in this form. It's so cushiony, it doesn't irritate my lips. It just stays on my lips, but it's not sticky. It's amazing. So my one and only qualm with this product is that even if you take the stopper out, you cannot get to the bottom product, which there's like another week or two left of product. You can get this um, out, so I guess I could do that if I wanted to, um, and you can get a little bit more. This one specifically has a little bit of a tingle to it, but not like a burning or a plumping sort of effect. I just love this. This one specifically smells like a coconut water, just fresh. So yeah, that's it. That's everything in my empties. That's everything I've used up over the past like, month or two, I think. Um, if you like seeing these videos and you find them helpful, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Um, again, if you like any of the products that I said that I didn't or hate the products that I love, that's okay. We're all entitled to our own opinion, but I do think these videos are helpful. You see a lot of products throughout my videos. You see a lot of empties. You see a lot of favorites. You see a lot of everything, and I feel like you can tell when I go through a product and you might be curious, like maybe you saw me buy that HG Bondi Boost shampoo like a year and a half ago, two years ago, and you were like, oh, I wonder if she liked it. Mm, no. So these are helpful to like give you a wrap up of everything. It might be a while before you see some of the products that I mentioned, but if I love them, you'll see them over and over again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. I love you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.